Hey there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault once again and yes, my joy knows no bounds today because we have together gone past 100k subscribers. A really joyous moment, a very special moment. I just cannot contain the joy within me. I am thankful to Almighty God for giving me the strength and knowledge to come so far, trying to serve you in every which way possible. And thank you God for blessing me with such amazing support and amazing friends who have always stood by me. <laughs> You know, uh, strengthened me and encouraged me all along to get me where I am today. So thank you, each one of you out there. Each one of you means mean a lot to me. Now coming back to the point, uh, let me tell you that I am going to introduce a special segment uh, right here at Dino's Vault from now onwards. Uh, you know, on this uh, special occasion, it's going to be called Dinopedia. Most of you can relate to that. Most of you like that. So I thought, why not start a segment and start educating people with whatever little knowledge that I've been able to acquire all along. So in this segment, I'll be talking about the various features like ABS or brake override system or uh, electronic stability control, etc. And I'll be explaining what these features offer. So today we're going to start out by AHO or automatic headlamp on feature, which has been made mandatory by our government from 2017 onwards for all two wheelers. So let's go ahead and find out what AHO or automatic headlamp on function is all about. AHO stands for automatic headlamp on function, which means the headlamp comes on the moment you start the bike and there is no light switch to turn it off. We do, however, get a control switch to switch between high beam and low beam. Now, this is a safety feature that has been made mandatory by our government, which results in enhancing your visibility to oncoming traffic in dusty, rainy or foggy conditions. Now, the big question here is, will battery life be affected because of this feature? Well, the answer to that is yes. The battery life will go down by 25% or even more because most of the bikes have now deployed a DC setup which means the entire load will fall on the battery. In case of an AC setup, the lights derive the energy from the power generated from the engine as the bike is running. So AHO feature in an AC setup would not affect the battery life all that much. But again, the advantages of having a DC setup is that it results in a better and more effective light throw that is stable and doesn't fluctuate with throttle inputs of a bike. This is because the lights directly get all the power that they need from the battery. Nowadays, most of the bikes come with a DC setup to offer a better and stable light spread at night. Therefore, having AHO with a DC setup does put a lot more load on the battery because the lights would remain on always irrespective of you riding through the day or at night. As a result, the battery life of your bike or scooter would go down by at least 25% or even more as per my estimation. But the trade-off here is about safety versus savings. I always emphasize safety first and always believe that no value can ever be assigned to a person's life. So if a safety feature is being made compulsory or mandatory at the cost of you having to spend some extra money for enhancing your safety, then I believe it is worth it and we should abide by it. I do also agree that AHO is a safety feature that is more practically applicable to European conditions because of the weather conditions prevalent there. But now here in India, the biking culture is really catching up and we see thousands of them going out on morning rides on weekends. Early morning when the visibility is slightly hampered by foggy conditions, the AHO feature really comes in handy in enhancing your visibility to the oncoming traffic and vice versa. If you are a sensible biker, I'm sure you would turn on the lights on your bike whenever you go out on a group ride. Now some riders are sensible enough to do this but some are not, which may result in any untoward incident that might affect more than a person life. Hence, by making AHO mandatory, our government has done a good thing wherein the lights come on automatically the moment we start our bikes, thereby making us more visible on the road to the oncoming traffic. Now, this gives the person coming from the opposite direction enough time to spot you and react accordingly to avoid any impending danger like a head-on collision, etc. So, that was about AHO or automatic headlamp on feature. Well, now you know what it is, why it has been made mandatory and whether it affects the battery life of your bike well that's about it for today's dinopedia episode i just hope you found this video useful until next time this is dino saying ciao take care god bless and ride safe